Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I thought I'd do one of those easy, intermediate and hard videos. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, right, I've got Perfect White, Perfect Black and Live Colourfully from Madame Glam. So for the easy snowman, because we're going to be doing snowmen, we're going to start off with two coats of Perfect White onto our nail and we're going to cure this for 30 seconds two coats as well two coats two coats then onto my palette i'm going to place some of the orange which is live colorfully perfect black and no perfect white <laughs> okay then using our detailer brush we're just going to put like a little dollop in the middle and then we're going to turn the dollop into a petal that goes to a point do you see what i mean that's the carrot right and then uh, dotting tool we're going to do some eyes that are made of coal 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 you know the black stuff and then some little um little coal dots for the mouth and that is as difficult as this one gets that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds and then to finish it off we're going to shiny top coat it with madame glam's no wipe top coat because we've got to have a bit of shiny for the shiny folk and then we will have two lots more matte for the matte folk because I'm matte biased. <laughs> well, that's going to go in the lamp. Okay, right, the next one. The base colour I'm going to use is Sandcastle. I actually really like this one. It's kind of like, um, is it a crew? A crew? E C R U. I don't know. I quite like this one though. It's nice. It's like a, a brownie grey. This is going to be the background colour. And again, we're going to pop that in the lamp and we are going to do two coats. 30 seconds. Right, now we're going to put a little bit of perfect white onto our palette to join the other colours. So this one, again, I'm using the dotting tool. The dotting tool is sometimes a lot easier to make circles than a detailer brush, but we're going to do the snowman's head at the top. Now, you can make this as big or as little as you want. Obviously, the the other nail was, was literally like the snowman's whole head. So this nail, we're gonna have a whole snowman on the nail. So the design is gonna get smaller. So we're gonna add, we're gonna add a little bit more detail on. Do you see what I mean? So make it a, a little smidge harder, right? Don't worry that there's quite a big gap between, it's not a massive gap, but don't worry about the gap between the head and the body because we're gonna put a scarf on in a minute. This is me faffing a lot. I was trying to, I was making the body a bit bigger because I was like, snowmen have like big round bodies and this one is sort of ovaled. So I was trying to make him a little bit fatter. But once you're happy with the shape of your snowman, Pop him in the lamp and give him a 30 second cure. I was trying to pop a bubble. <laughs> right, then I've got Vibrancy. <coughs> I can't remember this colour, you know. I can't remember what collection this came in. I've clearly not used it a lot at all. Um, anyway, we're going to use this one to create a scarf. So he's going to have, or she, no, it's a he. It's going to be a he. I don't know. No, of course it's a he. It's a snowman. Duh. Uh, right, so we're going to do a scarf. And I want to make my scarf quite thick because we are going to add some. We're going to we're we're going to make it textured. That's what I was trying to say. So give him a scarf, and then the scarf has a little bit of scarf coming down here. You know, like he's wrapped it around his neck, obviously. And then that. I was, yeah, I was, thought I'd make it a little bit thicker to match the, the bit around his neck. But that's going to go in the lamp for a 30 second cure. Oh, but not before you do the hat. So the hat, it's going to be like a beanie hat. It actually, it's a bobble hat. What am I about? It's a bobble hat. So you've got like the, oh, I don't even know how to describe. I wish I was a hat maker right now. And then I could describe everything about hats. But you're going to do like a scarf, but on the top of his head. And then you're going to oval it a bit something distracted me then i must have been watching something on youtube <laughs> right that's gonna go in the lamp show it in the lamp 
Okay, now I decided to add some, I don't know why I done it and why, it was ridiculous. I should have done it in green. I'm just adding some, oh, I'll tell you why, because I was going to do a white bubble. And I thought, well, we'll do a little bit of white detail on the scarf. So this, right, this bobble, I've put a dot on, and then I'm just using the brush to do some, make it, to flick it out a little bit, to make it look like it's fuzzy, like a fuzzy bobble. And then we've got some little stringy bits on the end of the scarf, but that's, that's literally as difficult as it gets. Pop it in the lamp. Dots for the eyeballs. The coal eyes and the coal mouth and the coal buttons i'm trying to make these ever so slightly bigger but it doesn't it doesn't matter do whatever you like that can go in the lamp and then he need like this this bit here i'm doing a dot for the carrot nose and then i'm just going to use my detailer brush just to bring it to a bit of a point so it at least looks like he's got a nose the 3d one we're going to do does not have a carrot nose because there's just no space okay yeah this one also i decided to add a little bit of snow detail at the bottom so this bit is basically like doing extra wide tiger stripes kind of thing so you 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 know like it almost looks like as well like a path going through the snow but i just thought this was it, it just added adds an extra little bit of something to the do you know what i mean it just fills in that bottom bit pop that into the lamp I don't know why I didn't fill that bottom bit in. There's like a gap there. Then he also needs some snow because he's a snowman and it's snowing. Why is my phone gone blurry? I hate it when it does that. Okay, now we're going to use the brown gel paint from Madame Glam. You can use brown gel polish. I just like their gel paints a lot. Uh, but they will do the same thing. Well, no, actually they, they, are, they are like gel paints are thicker and more opaque. Uh, more pigmented so and they need 60 seconds 60 seconds in the lamp so they are they are different but uh, look it's fuzzy i'm so sorry focus there we go so he's got some stick arms so that can go in the lamp now for 60 seconds then we are going to velvet matte top this now you can leave it like this or we can add some more detail on which we are going to do right now this very second See, right, look, acrylic powder. You know what I'm going to do? You know. You already know because I do it a lot. I can't help it. I love it. Right, going to use the green and we're going to add some of these stripes along the, the brim, the rim of the hat, the rim of the hat. And then a couple of lines going across the top. You don't want them to touch. And then you can sprinkle it with acrylic. Now the gel polish is going to suck up that acrylic powder and you just want to keep sprinkling it on and tapping it off and if you leave, once you've tapped it off, if it goes shiny, you want to sprinkle some more powder on and you want to keep doing this until it stays matte and then you can shove it in the lamp and then when it comes out, give it a brush off with a soft brush and we've got a textured snowman hat and it looks so cute, I love it actually really like this a lot i'm going to do the same to the scarf so we're just adding like little lines down it just makes it makes it look like it's knitted do you, do you know what i mean harry no i mean harry <laughs> <laughs> i totally forgot that was that boxer bloke oh, what's his name i've forgotten his name oh my goodness oh, someone put it in a comment the other day they said i love the love the reference to oh what's his name no i mean harry who is that Oh, it's going to bug me. But it's that boxer, that boxer man. Um, I don't know why I always say it. You know what I mean, Ari? Oh, you know what I mean, Ari? I don't know. Anyway, shut up now. It's right. Um, there we go. We've done the same to the scarf. That's going to go in the lamp now. And again, we're just going to brush it off. Do you know what? As soon as I finish this voiceover, I'm going to remember the boxer's name. Oh, it's going to bug me so much. Right, the next nail... Um, I'm going to use Nice Instrument as our base colour. I really, really like this colour. It's a gorgeous, muted, pinky, pinky, bleh, I don't know what colour it is. Right, on top of that, I'm going to use these Iced Violet Micro Flakes from Nail Sugar. You can save 10% of these using my code NATMOG10. These flakes are gorgeous. I'm just going to do like three kind of little lines coming down, or maybe four, if you kind of care. But we're just going to kind of do this sort of diagonal thing. I don't really know why, I just, I just wanted a bit of something in the background even though you can't see a lot of it in the end but it's there um we're going to velvet matte top coat this and 
look look hang on when i go right look how look it look look how nice it looks shiny but just oh my gosh just wait until it's gone matte <clears throat> You're going to be like, oh, I need those in my life. And actually you do. And I think this is like the first time I've properly used these. And they're so nice. Look at them. Right. And then look, this is the, look, they're there. And then they're gone. There. And then they're gone. It's like, um, it makes it look like cat eye. It's, they're so good without having cat eye. I love it. Right. We're going to use some plasticine gel or 40 sculpting gel. What do you want to call this? I don't know why I burst out in a little bit of song there. That was very weird. Um, I'm going to make this bigger because I want it to be a nice plump snowman. So I'm making it into a kind of, it's kind of like an oval belly, a bit like the, the other one, the first one that we painted, but this is 3D. But push it on, but you obviously want to make sure that he's still got a nice round bulbous belly. And then we're going to pick out a bit more. Now, if you're doing this, this is an uncured product. So ideally you want to be wearing gloves. Don't not wear gloves like me because if you if you handle uncured products like this a lot you can end up getting an allergic reaction and you don't really want that but i don't want it but i'm stupid uh right that's the head we've popped that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and now i'm using this nude color to make the scarf i thought we could do like a nice nude nude kind of you know, it's, nudes are nice, can't, uh, you know, sharp nuts. Right, this is a scarf. We're kind of chipping off the sides to make it nice and neat. You can flatten it out a little bit if you like. But then, like, I'm just pressing it down here a little bit. Then I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to roll it into a bit of a sausage. And we're going to put this, this is going to be the dangly bit of the scarf. And I'm going to just flatten that bit there. And then I will just use this as a kind of like a knife edge and just cut off some of excess that I don't want. And then we're just going to kind of neaten that up. Okay, so that can go. Is it going to go in the lamp? I don't know if I cured it, but you can cure it now if you want. That's me. That was me just you showing the lamp. The, the lamp. That was me showing you the. Oh, I think I did cure it. Okay, now we're going to do the hat. So this is going to look a bit weird initially. It looks like I the hat the hat is is way too high up the body, but we are going to add a like a rim to the hat, so it's not going to look as silly. But I've got some gel cleanse on my brush, and I'm just sculpting out the hat to. I want it to be like a beanie, like the hand painted snowman. See, if I'd left it like that, it'd have looked really weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would have looked so funny. But I'm going to grab some more of this nude. Okay, all. Oh, tired. Sorry about that. I'm going to use some of it. Keeping you up, Nats. <laughs> Actually, it's only five o'clock in the afternoon. So this is when I start to get tired. Because uh, I do get up early. I, I My alarm goes off at quarter past five in the morning. So I do get tired now. But can you see, I'm just using this bit of plasticine gel to make it look like a, you know, that the bottom of the hat. The only thing is... Um, look, I was trying to push it up a little bit here so that I've got room to make the snowman's eyes and stuff. This is, I, I just, there wasn't enough room for a nose. So that's going to go in the lamp to cure. The These gels often need like 60 seconds in the lamp. They often need a little bit longer. This food coma was the closest match that I had to that nude um, sculpting gel. So I've put a little bit of that on my palette. Then I'm using some of the the black sculpting gel I've got to make some coal eyes. I don't know what's on my finger. I think that might have been gel polish. I don't know why it's on my finger. Not my not my not my left hand on my index finger on my nail. I don't know. Anyway, look two coal eyes, and I'm just pressing them down a little bit. And then I was going to make 3D coal buttons, but the 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 stuff was this just being a pain and it wouldn't stick so i skip forward and i'm going to use gel paint to create buttons just because it's it's just a bit easier okay so we've got like 3d coal eyes and then the coal mouth and the coal buttons are i wouldn't have got lo i wouldn't have got loads of little 3d coal um you know for the mouth i wouldn't have managed anyway Right, we're going to do on here, like we did the second nail, we're going to add some detail to the hat. And I think 
this you, you don't need to do this at all to be honest but i just thought it was like a nice little extra touch it's just gonna make the hat look more well more detailed for one but it's just gonna it's just gonna make it i don't know oh and the scarf we gotta do the scarf as well if you do the hat you have to do the scarf it's like nail art law it's not really i just made that up then but it should be <laughs> oh. do you know what i've lost the plot today it's been a really weird day like nothing has gone my way actually no that's not true it has but after i've gone around the roundabout you know you, you know it's it's just it's been a day it's been a day hang on does that even make sense i've gone around the roundabout. like it's taken me like it's taken a lot longer to do things because certain things have gone wrong not gone wrong but oh gosh just don't get me started right <clears throat> okay so we are going to add some more detail onto the hat in a minute but now i've done that i'm just going to sprinkle the scarf and the hat with the acrylic and again we're going to do like what we did on the other now you just gotta wait for it to go matte and then once it stays matte you can shove it in the lamp and give it a 30 second cure <coughs> i've got a tickle in my throat <coughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today. I'm so sorry. Okay, right. And then when it comes out, brush off the excess um, acrylic. And look, he's got like... I, I was going to leave it there and I was like, no, he needs. we need to do something else to the hat because it looked a bit weird. I felt like... So I'm going to do lines going across the hat. And we are also going to add a bobble, which I think absolutely just finishes it off. And I am a little bit upset because he has got carrot nose and snowman need a carrot nose i probably should have painted one on or just given him like an orange stumpy nose but it is you know it's done it is what it is you can always add extra if you recreate this snowman so if you look obviously here we're going the opposite way to what the previous stripes were on the hat my lines i think did touch at some point that I didn't actually mean for them to touch, but they did touch, but it, you don't really notice it, so. I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> there we go, right, I'm gonna sprinkle that again. You know the drill by now. Once it's um, matte, shove it in the lamp, and then you are good. Okay, so brushing off the excess now. Then we are going to take some of the white sculpting gel and we're going to make a little, this is going to be the bobble, the bauble, no the bobble, it's not a bauble is it, a bauble goes on a tree, or an ornament if you're not in the UK. Huh? Right, we've stuck a bobble on and then I'm going to take my tiny dotting tool and I'm just going to poke some holes in it just to give it a little bit of texture. This is going to make it look like it's, you know, like a proper bobble. I think it's so cute. You have to bear with me for the next bit because I try to put arms on, but my camera doesn't focus. So the arms, oh look, it's so ridiculously cute. Right, this is some brown sculpting gel. We're going to use this to create the arms, the sticks. Oh, it was fiddly. And again, I was having trouble getting it to stick to the nail, but I think it's because I've had this for a long time and it's probably dried out a little bit. I don't know, but look, I've got that on there like that. And then on this one, I've done the same thing on the other side. And my little spatula tool, once I've just pressed it down a little bit, I'm just gonna use the, like, I'm gonna use it like a blade and I'm just gonna cut a little slit in the end and just separate that so it looks like the, you know, like sticks go in different directions. It's, we're just going to do that so that it looks like the snowman's, you know, like he's got hands, but it's, you know, it's not real hands. It's the stick. <laughs> do the same thing on the other side. Sticky stick. There we go. And then you can pop that into the lamp. I decided that this one was just going to have some snow falling in the background and at the bottom. But we're using Madame Glam's gel paint and they don't have a tacky layer so you won't need to re-top coat this afterwards. You can just, you know, paint and go kind of thing. But they do need 60 seconds in the lamp before 
you disappear. No, before your your client disappears. Oh yeah, some of them I decided just to make into. They're not supposed to be stars. They're supposed to be the the light's supposed to be hitting the snow, and it's supposed to be supposed to be glistening snow. But if you want to call them stars, you call them stars. But that's not what I was going for. But there we go. Right, that's gonna go in the lamp for sixty seconds, and then I think. I think that's it i think that's all i'm gonna leave it just like that but that is our easy medium and hard nails this is them all done let me know if you did like this kind of video and i'll have to try and think of something else to do but also if you did like this video please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads websites and discount codes will be down below um i think that's it yeah god bless love you all and i'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Love you, bye!